and that's what a trauma is you know it's an attachment to a past memory i can never get it when i'm on the ground you can never get it when you pull me down even when i fall let's be open now something about the space that i honor now something about the race of the richest town something about this place falling down i don't want to glow up just to watch you drown this ain't holly choco we in fighting now hey it's anna so healing is a journey of reparenting yourself. This is something that I'm learning right now and as always with these videos, like I tend to focus on topics of things that I'm actually dealing with in the current moment. And sometimes I have topics pre-planned and then it ends up changing because, you know, revelations upon revelations shift the focus to other things. So this video is about the journey of healing because I've definitely realized lately that it's not actually a destination. It is the whole journey, like that is the healing, you know, like the whole purpose of this life, the whole journey of this life is to shed all of the programming, all of the fear, all of the dense, heavy emotions, like everything that's related to humanity and the human five senses and the human desires and the human ego, everything that's to do with human, like this earthly realm, because that is kind of why we're here, you know. And when you drop those things, which is what enlightenment is, it's literally enlightening, like lightening up, letting go of those things. So like that process of enlightenment is the purpose, is the journey, you know, like the purpose is not a destination. It is that journey of healing, of releasing all of the human things, including our traumas, including our fears. All of that is the purpose of this life, you know, like healing is not a quick thing it's not something where it just automatically switches and then you're good you know like traumas come back even when you feel like you've healed it even when you feel like you've got to the root of why you fear something or why something triggers sadness or anger or whatever emotion it triggers like even when you feel like you've uncovered that thing and you know why it happens it doesn't mean it's never going to happen again because healing literally is a path that is what this experience is you know you didn't incarnate into this prison planet just to make money and like do all of this bullshit that's irrelevant and doesn't really matter you came here to actually experience life through connecting with other people and that triggers and like makes you experience different emotions and different traumas but a trauma literally is reliving an experience you know that is what a trauma is it's the memory coming up into your mind of a past experience and then that memory keeps coming up and every time it comes up it triggers a negative emotion and that's what a trauma is you know it's an attachment to a past memory so of course this experience is us going through different experiences like <laughs> this life is us going through different experiences which creates memories you know so the whole journey of healing is healing those memories, it's healing how we feel about those memories, it's healing the way we perceive those memories. So then the, the emotion that comes up when you then have that experience of remembering something that you've been through in the past, the emotion that comes up isn't going to be a negative one that you used to feel when you were in that situation, you know, like it's literally a journey of reprogramming your mind, reprogramming your subconscious so that then everything that you experience you respond to it in a different way to how you previously would you know like it's literally ascension that is what ascension is it's just elevating your perception elevating how you respond instead of reacting elevating the way that you feel about the past and the way that you view the future and how present you are in the current moment and all of that is a journey you know, like it's not a quick fix because you're always going to be experiencing new things. You're always going to be meeting new people. You're always going to be going through something and learning something about yourself. Because if you weren't doing any of those things, then why would you be here? You know, like what would be the point in being here if you'd experienced everything that there is to experience and if you'd met every single person that there was to meet? You know, like there were, you may as well just go back home. There would be no point. So like, all of these things are constantly going to happen, so that means that you're constantly going to be working through something, you know? But it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be working through something that's negative or that's really, like, shit. It doesn't always mean that it's going to be that bad. It could be something that's, like, it doesn't affect you that much, you know? But you're still having to work through that anyway, so...
yeah I'm just realizing it's a it's a process it's not actually a destination so like there's no pressure around it because there's nothing that you're really trying to achieve you're just moving in every moment it's like flow state you know you're just having to move in every single moment that you're in and work through whatever it is that comes up in every single moment you know and not like not thinking that there's a quick fix or that you're just gonna like something's gonna shift in your mind and then you're completely free and it's all completely gone like it doesn't work like that and for a long time I kind of hoped that it would work like that but it's obvious and really clear to me now that it doesn't and that actually is freeing in itself you know because that means that like there's no need to pressurize yourself there's no need to beat yourself up because you're always going to be working through something you know and the fact that you're doing it is an achievement and you're moving forward anyway like the speed at which you move forward doesn't matter like it really doesn't matter because it's your path and it's your purpose and it's an individual thing you know so yeah this is just the process and healing takes time and it doesn't mean that it won't come back up but you may perceive it differently when it does you know so I just wanted to put this little message out there talking about this wonderful journey that we call life <laughs> can you tell the like sarcasm in my voice with that because you know this place is pretty much hell but there is beauty in it which is what we are here for and I feel like that is why the collective is waking up now because it's gotten to a state where like hell has kind of reached a new low and it's still trying to reach lows but so many people are starting to wake up to it that we're actually able to maybe we can't change this world but what we can do is change ourselves which will then change the amount of people that choose to incarnate here you know like we won't need to come back to this place yeah, you know what I mean? And then that means that the people that try to control everything will have nobody to actually control because we're all elevating off. Our minds are too ascended, too free to buy into the fuckery that they're trying to do, you know? So it's really an important path and an important mission, but like it can be really easy to get caught up in the fear and caught up in the self-doubt and caught up in the like I thought I'd healed but I haven't like I don't know what I'm doing I feel like I'm getting through somewhere and then I'm not and all of this kind of stuff but really none of that shit matters you're on the path you're focused on what you need to figure out in every moment and not worry about the past and the future and then when those memories or those ideas do come up you're able to like perceive it in a way that benefits you and you're able to talk yourself through it and literally reparenting yourself that is what this is you're parenting yourself you're giving yourself so much compassion and so much love and so much kindness through every situation that you go through and through every like decision that you have to make and every trauma that you're trying to heal and every memory that comes up you know it's literally having to pour love into yourself as if you were your own child pour love into yourself as if you were your partner or somebody that you loved and that is literally what this life is so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching all the links to my music social media will be in the description box below and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man